Good morning, it's 8-11 on Sunday. And this is a look from our Covenant Health System in Plainview. Gorgeous shot there, you know that same scene is repeated all across the South Plains this morning. Uh, so as Sunny soon as, yeah, as soon as my forecast is over, go ahead and uh, or the look show. out the window. Yeah, or the commercial <laughs> break, find some free time. When you're going to, to get some more hot coffee, look out the window. It's gorgeous, I'm telling you. And uh, satellite and radar really confirming all this. Not much going on this morning. We can see barely. In fact, I'm not sure if your TV can pick this up, but there's a little bit of low cloud cover here across the western South Plains along the state line trying to creep northeastward. But you know what? I don't think it's going to make it. We're going to see a lot of sunshine today. That that's why we got so cool overnight. It's also why we're going to see those numbers rebound this afternoon. Hour by hour in raincast, a little overzealous on the cloud cover, but it has the right location west of 27, uh, essentially on the cap rock. Rolling Plains, nothing. Few clouds on the cap rock this morning. Watch putting this in motion, how they lift northward and they fizzle out through the afternoon. So 540 this afternoon, just before that sun goes down, we're looking at plenty of sunshine. Temperatures with the sunshine drier air and a southerly breeze today. There it is hour by hour. We're going to see those numbers climb pretty quickly. 54 by noon, 57 at 2, 59 at 3, 60. That's your high temperature today in Lubbock at 4 o'clock. Uh, but it is fall. It is November. Sun angle is lower. We're going to see those numbers really begin to crater after about 4 to 5 o'clock this afternoon. So headed out the door this evening, 55 at 6. But with the southerly breeze, we're not going to get as cold tonight and many of us are going to be warmer than we were yesterday. 60 in Lubbock. 59 in Plainview, 60 in Brownfield, 65. There's your warm spot in Snyder. Uh, now, northwestern area is a little bit cooler, upper 50s, northwestern South Plains. Everyone seeing sunshine, nobody seeing rain this afternoon. So, all in all, if you liked yesterday, you're going to love today. 60 in Lubbock. Again, traveling north and westward up 84, 57 Mule Shoe, 56 in Friona, 59 in Plains. Southwestern South Plains, a little bit different than yesterday, maybe just a touch uh, warmer, maybe degree two, possibly three. Uh, most of the warm air is going to be confined to the rolling plains today, though. 64 in Guthrie, 64 in Jayton. So 60s east to travel westward. We'll cool those numbers down just a little bit into the 50s, but not a bad day by any means. Now changes. We talked about wind coming to the forecast. 40 Monday morning, a little bit of a southerly breeze. That's really going to help boost temperatures Monday afternoon. Tuesday, flat out windy. That carries us into Veterans Day. Wind Wednesday, uh, sustained winds 30 to 40, gusts 45, 50. We're we're talking a classic West Texas wind event here. Uh, it's also going to boost temperatures initially on Tuesday afternoon, but behind that another cold front. We're going to cool it down on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and heading into next weekend. We lose the wind a little bit. Sure, maybe 10 15. Nothing too strong by next Friday. We cool it down as well. Some more possible freezes. Uh, first freeze contest, of course, is continuing. Uh, go to Yates flooring. You can enter your guests in there. Here's a heads up, though. You have to get it in three days, three before the freeze occurs. So get your guesses in early next week and we'll see what late next week has us has in store for us as far as temperatures are concerned. Taylor. Okay, thanks, Kenner.